in this part E, you're told that that R prime value that we found in part A, that was negative 75 tickets per hour per hour, we're told that's the exact value. And R double prime meets the following criteria, that it is between negative 29.28, we'll call it, I'm not sure why there's an extra decimal in there, is between negative 29.3, call it, and negative 26.8. So for sure, R double prime of T is less than zero between eight and eight and a half. Does your estimate of the rates tickets are purchased in part D, where we found 42.5 tickets per hour from our equation of a tangent line, using that to approximate the curve, we want to know is that an underestimate or an overestimate of the actual rate of purchase? Well, based on my graph, it looks like we are an overestimate. But that graph was just something that I roughly put in. If we're going to make a statement, we're going to have to use some calculus reasoning. They're going to want us to explain how we know. And so with any of these AP problems, there's always some information that's given. They told me that the second derivative, r double prime of t, was less than zero. Why was I told that? What can I conclude? Well, whenever the second derivative is less than zero, we can conclude that our graph is concave down. And that happens to be how I've shown this red graph. I'm going to accentuate it. If we have a concave down graph and we draw the equation of a tangent line, let's do a better job of that. you can see that at any value, the line is going to be on top of or above the graph at that same value. So we can say 42.5 tickets per hour is an overestimate. of the exact value because our double prime of t is less than zero. And you could expand if you wanted and say meaning that rt is concave down. But for sure, you'd need to say this right here. You'd need to use that second derivative being less than zero.